Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just doing a quick page in my art journal. As you can see, this page already has paint on it from another project. I'm just kind of pulling out some stencils and some ink pads to see what I'm gonna do next. And I decided on these little circles with lines through them. And I'm actually using a makeup brush. These work really well. I got those on Amazon for, I think they were five in a pack. Um, so I dedicate the uh, one for like bluish green colors, one for reddish pink colors and so on. They were supposed to come with a holder, but it didn't come with a holder. So I just put them in a cup on my desk. I hope everyone's having a good day. I'm still in my pajamas. I've had a day. I should say I hope you have a day because some days are very difficult. Mine hasn't been all that great and um, tomorrow's another day, I guess. This is another Dina Wakely stencil that I grabbed. I'm not sure the name of them, but this color paint is olive. It's also a Dina Wakely product. I left this part in just so you can see that art is messy and not to scrub my videos to perfection. That was a black mess that came flying out after it was plugged for a while. I actually, it splashed so far up, it splashed up on my phone that's filming above me but we'll cover that up with a stencil it's not a big deal it was aggravating at the time but I fixed it part of me wanted to stop here and just go to bed <laughs> oh days like this I'm like I'm not sure why I even got up I'm sure you have those days too everything from the moment you got up went wrong and you're like why do I even bother some days nothing hugely wrong but just aggravating things and some days I just don't have the coping skills and I'm like I am so done but I kept going I tore a page of the art journal out of the back and now I'm gonna make these little silhouettes of people with this stencil and some black paint and just a makeup sponge cut in half. At this point, I'm not sure where I'm going with this page. I just kind of let it come to me. I let my mind wander. I try to think of some of the quotes that I've seen or how I could make a page out of what I'm doing and what I'm thinking at the same time, how to bring it together as one page, one cohesive page.
I kind of ran out of paint on this guy, so I'm kind of trying to scrape it and paint with the sponge instead of dabbing it. I could have edited all this out, and I need to do that more, but as you're editing it, you're like, I don't know how short of an area I should weave things, but here we are. And then I wanted to make some um, silhouettes that were just the outline of the guy. So I took a pen and I just outlined the silhouette instead of using paint or ink to color it in. And then I just cut these out. I think at this point in the game, in this art journal page, I'm just trying to get out of my head. I've been in my head a lot the last two days, three days. I'm just really, I don't know, sad, depressed, and numb all at the same time, if that's possible. I think it is. I just cut these out and kind of, again, trying to think of some quotes as I cut these out and what the page could come to mean. And of course, as with all quotes, we're not just talking to Others were talking to ourselves. This is um, a script stamp of old fashioned cursive writing. And um, on the white ones, I use black archival ink and a stamp. And on the black ones, I use white archival ink and the stamp which it doesn't matter in the end anyway because I actually turn the white one over where you don't I glue it down on the script and so just the white part is showing I did clean the stamp in between the black ink and the white but as you can see it's getting black, the black remnants of the ink on my white stamp. It won't matter, though. It'll, it's not a big deal, but I do clean my items in between. I think craft supplies are extremely expensive not to take care of them and clean in between. And then there's these little stamp circles and spirals. They're by Bow Bunny. I just do a couple of those, and um, I also cut those out. This page started getting me thinking of dark side, light side, doing shadow work, doing, um, you know, integrating our shadow. I've been doing a lot of that for years, um, you know, learning about my life and how patterns repeat, and um, it's kind of knocks you for a loop. Um, so I think that's why I'm attracted to spirals and circles and um, labyrinths. A lot of my pages have circles and spirals on them. At this point, I was thinking about the shadow self, integrating that, learning from it, um, I used this um, clear aqua Tombow glue. It wasn't the greatest on this page. Um, it didn't hold down my items as much as I would like, so I, you will see me switch here in a minute to the um, tacky glue. See, I actually glue on the script side of that uh, cutout. 
And then I started thinking about coming out of the darkness, how we have to come out of our darkness. I do outline this person, this shadow figure. Kind of just letting things come to me at the moment. I'm not sure what I'm going to do from here. I'm trying to come up with a quote. When I can't think of what quote I want to use, I just kind of put it in my own words and then I make my own words and cut them out on a piece of from a piece of paper. I'm just using a white pen and um, coloring in the spirals, which really didn't end up mattering in the end because I do kind of come back to this later and paint over it with some glitter paint. Here I just get out the watercolor paper that I pulled from the back of this journal and I start making my own quote. I cut it all up and glue it on. And I kind of think, because I've been feeling so down lately, I just, I think I'm kind of talking to myself in this page. It's funny how that ends up co ends up coming out and um, uh, coming to fruition sometimes on your page is a message for yourself as well as other people. My quote that I came up with is, come out from the shadows and into your light. Some days that's a little harder to do than others, I realize. And if you're feeling down today, like the shadow, just remember tomorrow's another day, a new day. Happy two, 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 twenty two. <laughs> two. I just outline my words. I get a different pen. I color the silhouette, the outline behind this yellow. And then after I do that, I decide to pull out the glitter. I have this glitter glue. It's called Deco Art Glitterific. It's really cool stuff. I have it in um, a rainbow color, a silver color, and a gold color. And I love it. It is so thick with glitter. The one that I'm using, the rainbow color, is almost full of, it looks like plastic pieces. It's really neat. And there'll be some close-ups of the page at the end. Could have edited this out. <laughs> oh goodness I take a paintbrush to the stuff 
It's very chunky and it dries really fast. So if you ever get to Walmart and you're in the art aisle, that's where I got this. It's really neat stuff. And I just fill in the white silhouette that's supposed to be the light. And I paint the spirals because we will come back to this mood again. And we will come back and we will be depressed and we will have our good days and our bad days. And that is life. Just be kind to yourself through it. Take a bath, put your pajamas on, watch a movie, make yourself something good to eat. We're here for a reason, even if sometimes we don't know what that reason is. Take care of yourself. Nobody's going to do it for you. Do something fun where you lose track of time. Read a book. Make art. Have a hot cup of tea. I appreciate you joining me here today. Thank you for coming back. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already. And there'll be some still images at the end. See how glittery and fun. All right, everybody, take care of you. Bye for now.